I'm John Haas. With a background in sustainability and a passion for fishing, I travel the world to showcase the good, bad, and ugly around sustainable fisheries. Haas Off The Grid uses the excitement, adventure, and direct connection to nature inherent to the sport of fishing to show the need for stewardship. I go off the grid to show some of the world's greatest fish and fisheries, creating awareness about the threats to their status and promoting a conservation ethic. We have too much power over what lives and dies on this planet to not care and take ownership. Together, we can make a difference. On this episode, we're leaving the Northwest and heading down to the Pacific side of Guatemala to fish on the Allure at a Sailfish Oasis Resort. We're on a mission to find sailfish and catch one on a fly. With a vibrant diversity both on land and in the water, Guatemala hosts arguably one of the most amazing and robust sailfish fisheries in the world. All the top warm water pelagic Pacific game fish make a showing here during the season. Guatemala is unique because it's mandatory to release all billfish caught in its waters. Double digit hookups per day are not uncommon here because of it. We'll be checking out one of the most interesting and fun places to go when in Guatemala, the Spanish colonial city of Antigua. And of course, we'll be taking an eco moment for the planet and speaking with Ricardo Picorni of La Azotea Coffee Plantation, one of the leading sustainable coffee plantations in the world. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. Hey, let's do a quick gear check. We're out here in Guatemala. We're fishing for sailfish, marlin, tuna. We've got a variety of setups. So we're fishing both conventional gear and fly gear. Our goal is to try and at least get some shots at uh, billfish on fly. So let me go through some of the fly gear. We're fishing IGFA compliant rigs. These are Cam Siegler flies, rigged with gamagatsu hooks. We go to a shock leader, uh, typically uh, this is 80 pound to a huffnagel, to our tippet. And the tippet is 20 pounds. We take that to a bimini twist up to our butt section, and the butt section of this is a 100 pound uh, butt section, um, no more than 12 feet long. We're taking that to our fly line. This is a setup for sailfish. We have a bigger setup for marlin, another G. Loomis cross current rod. I love these rods, they are excellent rods. One of the nice features of them is they have these collapsible guides so you don't break them off. Nothing worse than that, worse than a broken guide when you go on a trip like this. So, as Elvis used to say, well, let's talk a little more action. Let's get back on it. We're in Guatemala fishing for Pacific sailfish out of Sailfish Oasis Resort with Captain Kiwi, Chris Van Leeuwen, on the Allure 2. We've landed two nice fish, and we're trying to make it three for three today on sails. But first, let's take a minute for the planet. This Eco Moment is brought to you by the CCA. Ricardo, thank you very much for taking the time. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to see you. Kiwa Coffee is still considered one of the top five coffees in the world, so the coffee plantation in itself is an attraction yeah. as itself on its own, you know. Yeah, when you think of Guatemala, I think sailfish, and I think coffee. What the farm produces, the farm is organic, uh, so we separate the farm from the main mill production. Because it's been an environment-oriented farm, uh, we've begun deciding that to really impact the environment, we have to start with, little, with children. Uh, so we've opened the first green school in Central America, actually in all of Latin America, uh, with the concept of teaching kids from the pre-kinder age already to become environmentally conscious and to literally learn by using the environment as their learning tool. Right, so they're, they're a natural conservationist and taking care of the planet and, and steward, right, of nature. Exactly, becoming stewards of nature. So these are coffee plants. Uh, they look kind of uh, uh, sticks right now, but this is part of the coffee, coffee process. Uh, Coffee requires, like wine, requires a, a pretty hefty shock period, which in Guatemala is a dry season. We only have two seasons here, dry and wet. That's it. You can look at the, at the tips. It's, these are going to be coffee beans very soon. One of the topics that we like to talk about is conservancy and uh, what's going on in the conservancy front in, in an area like Guatemala, which has you know lots of threats to the natural environment and uh, to the fisheries and all those things. Um, what, what's happening around here? Well, Guatemala, unfortunately, uh, it's still, we're still lagging way behind. Uh, 
particularly on the fisheries and those areas, one of the main issues that we have is contamination within our river systems, which of course all empty into the ocean. Sure. And then of course there's a problem within the fishery and the uncontrolled uh, fishing. You know, uh, you were with Kiwi and he told you about all the sailfish, the problem with sailfish, right. that they keep bringing it in even though nobody, it's not edible. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's still, we are working on it. We, I, cannot, I cannot say that Guatemala is in the forefront. No, it isn't. In this farm in particular and what we do here, we are in the forefront. We are trying to do things differently. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people with good initiatives, but the government itself hasn't quite caught up to the, to the necessities and the impact that we could have, positive impact that we could have by good conservancy practices. Well, Ricardo, this is a fantastic place, but in the end, proof is in the pudding, or I should say, in the cup. This is just a tiny cup up, so. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's good coffee. I'm here with Captain Kiwi. We're on the Allure in Guatemala, and I just had some questions for you. I mean, this is an incredible fishery. All the fish we've been catching today were pretty big fish. It's, yeah, that's right. That's about every size what we saw today. It seems to be a pretty well-managed fishery. It's pretty, you know, robust. I mean, what do you attribute the health of this fishery to? In 2001, I think the first law was passed here to protect the sailfish. Like, it's been illegal to kill sailfish since, or billfish, since 2001. Okay. Uh, Tim Choke was a pioneer behind all that. Oh, awesome. That's obviously helped. There's no major ports here either for like large fishing vessels to sort of come in and out. There's the local, local like uh, commercial fleet, but they don't impact on the fishery all that much. The more there are, the more they do. But however, it's sort of maintained. Uh, yeah, I've been here like like 14 years now, 13, 14 years. Yeah. And it seems to have maintained, uh, maintained the numbers, you know yeah. what I mean? And we're all conservation minded. I mean, it's all released fish in circle hooks only. Right. No, no it was amazing the, the fish we did catch on bait. Circle hooks. Yeah, on bait, it's all circle hooks. Yeah. yeah. So we're not using circle hooks on the fly. No, 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 no. But I mean, that's not a bait. So I mean, when you right. when you get a bite, you're setting the hook, you're catching in the mouth anyway. Right. But bait, when you feel when you got a J hook on a bait and they can swallow it, right. that's when you do damage to a fish. You know what right. I mean? When it rakes the gill plate or you hook them deep in the stomach. Right. So these circle hooks will, I'm talking 95% of the time, will hook right on the top corner of that jaw, you know, the top corner of the mouth. Yeah, let me just ask you the political thing again. I mean, isn't isn't that a concern though that the you know change of government could change the whole situation? Oh, it's no, there's without a doubt. This last government has been proactive within what which is the tourist board. They've been proactive in trying to protect what they have here, and they realise what the resource is worth to the country financially. Yeah. And uh, and I think they've been trying to sort of promote it, and they've passed another law just last year. Uh, try and curb the commercial fishing, whereas the government before that, the first lady pretty much said it's open slather, go help yourselves, no one's going to get prosecuted if you're killing billfish because there's hungry people around. Well, there's other ways to address that. If you take the example of what's happened to swordfish, you know, on the on the east coast of, Amer of the U.S., yeah. you know, the average size of swordfish, of course, the cotch been shrinking and shrinking to the point where they're yeah. catching them smaller than their natural sexually mature size. Yeah. So they're not that's, able to reproduce. Yeah, that's the end of it. You know, so that can happen anywhere. It takes political will, yeah. you know, and people really caring about these things to ensure that that doesn't happen. All right, Captain Kiwi. All right. Hey, Cheers. appreciate it. On the rigger, the rigger bait. Just as luck would have it, boom, a sailfish comes up in the spread just as we had. It was a mad dash as everyone got into position to do their job. Take it off. There it is. There she is. There it is. Good fish. Yeah. Good jumps. Woo! Little greyhound action. Come on, fish. Yeah. Oh, that was 
fucked that up so bad. Yeah, don't cast till I tell you to I cast. I know, dude. I... But all good. It worked out good. I saw him coming in fast. I just panicked. All right. Fish on. Hot little sail. Hot little Guatemalan sail. Just tore it up. Ladies and gentlemen, what it's all about. Fish on. We only have a 20 pound tippet on here, so we can't work on this fish. Just gotta wait our time out. Pump and reel when it's time. Here he comes, coming up. Fish on the fly. Hoss off the grid. Digging that. Nice fish. Nice, nice sailfish. Beautiful shape. We can release this fish. Okay. Good shape. Let us swim off and fight another day. What a beautiful Pacific sailfish. I don't think anybody can appreciate how beautiful of an animal this is until they come up and see one of them up close and realize what a huge, huge resource this is. And it doesn't belong to any person, it belongs to all of us. So when we come out and fish these waters, it's mandatory that we release these fish, and I'm glad that we do that. This sail's about ready to go. We got him off the grid, on Haas off the grid. See ya, buddy. Woo! While in Guatemala, we stayed and fished at a Sailfish Oasis resort with Captain Chris Van Leeuwen, AKA Captain Kiwi, on the Allure 2. Special thanks to Chris, Liz, and Nick. John Haas, Haas off the grid. HaasOffTheGrid.com. Go check it out because it's got it going on. A little theme song for the show. <laughs>